One question. I could ask you just one question. And from this question, I could make accurate predictions about your health, how intelligent you are, how long you're likely to live, and even how sexually satisfied you are in your relationships. One question. How much money do you make? Your income tells me a lot about you. And maybe that's why it's such a taboo question, because we intuitively know it reveals a lot about us. Just like when we think of poverty, we intuitively conjure up images of perhaps a homeless person or what you see on the left-hand side of the screen behind me. But this is not accurate. We now know that poverty is relative, especially when it comes to health. Starting with the person whose income is $1 behind Bill Gates, their health begins to suffer relative to him. It's called the health socioeconomic gradient, and social comparison theory tells us that poverty isn't necessarily about being poor, it's about feeling poor. When we feel poor compared to other people, we cause ourselves stress, which compromises our immune systems and leads to illness and disease, which is exactly why this topic is so important. My research investigates a policy initiative designed to eradicate poverty in Canada, a basic income. The idea of a basic income is simple. No one can earn a living wage less than what provides them with a decent and dignified existence, no exceptions. I've conducted multiple studies in which I have surveyed the public and interviewed experts such as health professionals, economists, and politicians to evaluate whether or not a basic income would improve people's health, whether or not it would be economically feasible, and whether or not politicians would support the idea if the public wanted it and the economist said it was affordable. The results of my research are well beyond the purview of this presentation. However, I would like to share one interesting result with you. 55% of my survey said that if we had a basic income, no one would work. However, when I asked those same people what they would do if they were given a basic income, less than 1% out of hundreds of people said that they would work less often. In fact, the most common responses were that people would pay off their debt and go back to school. In psychology, we call this the superiority bias, or our tendency to believe that our behaviors are somehow better or superior to other people's. It is exactly these types of biases which we need to overcome before anything like a basic income can be implemented. Now more than ever, we need to address growing income inequality in Canada if we are going to maintain our status as a progressive and affluent nation. Thank you.